but like the first family member I came out to was my mum and it wasn't even in person. I literally sent her a text. Okay, all right, I'll go first. Hit it. <laughs> Ready? <coughs> yes. <laughs> So June may be Pride Month, but coming out and being LGBTQ plus is not just something that exists for one twelfth of the year, it's something that is year long. In this video we're going to be talking about coming out and we're going to be pulling in some of our favourite influencers to share their experiences and their top tips. I did accidentally call you on Snapchat. She says it's not an accident, but it was actually an accident. I called her on Snapchat and we were just talking all night, basically for hours, pretty much until the sun came up. And in that conversation was the first time that I actually said, I am gay out loud and actually believed it. Like in the past, I would maybe kind of had doubts or like alluded to it to other people mostly when I was drunk to be honest but I never said the words I'm gay I like girls out loud so that was the first time was to you because I really liked her and I was like yep <laughs> this is it we unfortunately live in a world that quite often demonizes LGBTQ plus identities constantly telling us that there's something wrong with us, it's not normal, it's not natural. And I just want to tell you that there is absolutely nothing broken about you. You were born this way, this is how you are, and there's no need to apologise for that. This is an intrinsic part of who you are, something that you can't change. I mean, I always wore makeup and stuff, but it was like a fairly androgynous, sort of gothy 80s yeah androgynous vibes and then it sort of slowly became draggier and draggier and draggier as time has gone on. so maybe over the maybe only the past five six years or i've like really tried to focus it in and it's been it's been i don't know i realized that i was really attracted to certain types of images and stuff and that was a way for for, for me to like live that and get to do it. You know, cause I love dressing up. Some people are like, you know, drag is their job, you know. They get an outfit made for that job and that's done. But I really enjoy the constructing and the creation. and I find it really, really exciting. Uh, so I think over the past few years, as I've gone, kind of gone, oh, I can wear this. Oh, I can wear this. Cause I've always just wore suits for years or like, like you know, fairly male presenting things for the first few years of my performing. And then it just, as it got later in that, and I started experimenting more and having a lot more fun with it. You will know when it's right because you will literally feel like you're holding something in. You won't feel like you want to suppress it anymore. You won't feel like you want to hide it. For me, I was at a point when it was like, like bursting to come out and I wanted to just have everyone know and be done with it. So yeah, like as much, even if you know that you are whatever it is you're going to come out as like don't feel like that because you now know you have to come out instantly if you don't feel ready don't push it like your time will come when you're good and ready now the first time you ever come out is really tough but the more people you come out to and the more positive experiences you have it does gradually get easier and we can never predict how people are going to react most cases, it's a positive or a neutral reaction. Sometimes, unfortunately, people do experience negative reactions. For example, if you live with homophobic parents and you are worried about coming out to them, it might actually be an idea to wait until you've actually left home or to actually come out to another family member that you trust beforehand. If you do experience a negative reaction, please know that this is not representative of every reaction you experience. My only advice would be, like, don't stress about it. And then when you do finally decide to come out and feel like you're ready, come out feeling really good about it. Because I don't think I feel like my experience would have been so much more worse if I came out 
saying to me, but I think I'm gay, like, I don't know what to do. If I was a bit unsure of it, then everyone else would have been a bit unsure about it as well. The more confident I was and the more accepting I was of myself, I think that had a massive um, positive effect on, on coming out. Because seeing me be okay with it, I feel like that bounced off everyone else. They were kind of okay with it as well. So, so long as you, you're accepting of who you, are, who you are as a person first, then more than likely everyone else is going to be okay with it and be happy for you. Remember that if you are struggling with coming out, you're just trying to figure out your sexuality and not quite sure, or you're experiencing abuse or homophobia or transphobia, there is plenty of support out there available to you. In fact, Ditch the Label has an online support community where you can speak to real people like you, but fully trained mentors who are trained to give you help and support. Click the link in our description to head there right now.